what is up guys we're here playing another bot game um, at the end of this game hopefully we will have hit level 2 so we need 44 more XP so once again we're here we're just starting off with a recommended build and uh, we're actually going to the top lane this time you'll notice that uh, we're playing Garen this time which I mentioned briefly so we do not know, uh, we, we do not need uh, mana to cast our abilities. Our abilities are strictly timed by cooldown. So, um, yeah, so let's start with its abilities. So my passive is called Perseverance. Um, if I don't get attacked for 9 seconds, I regenerate 13 health every 5 seconds. Five seconds, which is two percent of my maximum health. So the more health that I build, the more um, health regen I'll get with my passive. Um, my Q is called Decisive Strike, and in my next basic attack does bonus damage, and I get movement speed bonus. Um, courage, uh, you get bonus armor and magic resist, and you uh, reduce incoming damage. And then my E is called Judgment. And basically what this is, you spin around in circles and you deal damage per second to surrounding enemies. Finally, his ultimate is called Demacian Justice. And uh, this is going to drop a giant sword down from the sky and deal 175 damage plus 1 damage for every 3.5 health the target is missing. So this is definitely an execute. And we'll be utilizing that a lot this game. They recommend that you start E with Garen, but I actually prefer to start Q because it's a good escape as well as a good damage item. You kind of you build a um, pretty tanky with Garen just because you can uh, soak up a lot of damage with all your um, passive and your bonus armor magic resist that you get. So at level 2 we're going to take our E. And uh, one thing about Garen's Q ability is that because it affects your auto attack, you can use it on structures, which means that uh, like it'll deal the bonus damage to the tower when you hit it, so you can take towers faster like that. It's also good for last hitting like that. Put another point into our Q. And as you can see, that movement speed helped us get out of turret range just now. So, very useful. Unfortunately, we did not get that cannon minion just then. Um, cannon minions are kind of important because they give more gold and more experience than regular minions. Now this champion that just showed up here for their enemy team is called, his name's Galio, and uh, you don't really see a lot of him um, in League of Legends, because he's not a lot of people play him, but he's got a lot of um, kind of crowd control type abilities, so kind of got to be here for that. So Ash was able to pick up that kill because she's ranged and she could stay out of tower range and do it. If I'd have, done it, if I'd have gone in, I would have taken a bunch of tower shots. But we still pick up the assist on that, so I'm still pretty happy. I'm taking a lot of tower shots here, you'll notice, but they're not really doing a lot of damage to me because Garen is pretty tanky by himself. Um, we're going to put another point into our E. Double kill. We fight for those who cannot. Slain an enemy. 
We already picked up the kill with our decisive strike there. Very helpful. Get some bonus gold and keep us ahead of the bots. They don't really stand much of a chance against us. Notice I'm using my E a lot like um, Ash's volley. As like wave clear. Push the minions. But you gotta be careful when you're pushing the wave, pushing the wave, like, cause when we get into our um, jungling once we hit level three, um, I'll tell you like, not to push your lane for your jungler, because it, obviously if you're pushed up here, jungler can't gank without tower diving. But if we're pushed like all the way over here to our tower, then it's really easier for the jungler to come through the river and uh, over to gank from behind the enemy, so. That was our ultimate, Demacian Justice, and uh, in addition to looking pretty awesome, it does a lot of damage for us, so that's good. You're probably wondering why I didn't use it earlier, it's because the more health that he was missing, the more damage that it does. So, it's very beneficial to get them as low as possible before you use it. Or you can use it like right before they escape, just to do the final blow on them. Might be able to take this tower, we'll see. Ash is getting in pretty low, so... Oh, she missed her ult. Use our heal so we don't die to the Alistar. I'm just gonna turn on the Alistar now. Because we're gonna use our W so we take a lot less damage. We're gonna use our Ghost so that we can keep up with him. I'll pick up the kill. Um, ghost is a very useful summoner spell. Um, it kind of helps you like stick to your enemies. I basically just ran in there to help the Ash. We can use our W so we don't take as much damage. Silent him so that he doesn't kill Ash. And then we're going to turn on him and kill him right here. So that was kind of a good play by me and Ash. Good teamwork. Because she can keep him slowed so he can catch up to her to kill her. And then I was silencing him so he couldn't use his abilities to kill her. And then once she was ready, she turned around and we all just did as much damage as we could and having to get the victory. Um, Alright, so we're back in the shop here. What I recommend on beginners, um, on, be on Garen, it's really helpful to rush a Warmog's, a Warmog's armor, because it gives you a ton of health. And um, it basically just allows you to stay in lane forever because you don't need mana. And uh, now with our passive, when we're not attacked, we'll have 44 health regen every 5 seconds. Because we've raised our max health a lot. So that'll help us with fighting and even um, turret diving to an extent. Because we have so much more health to work with. If you wanted to be a little bit more aggressive, you could go um, you could build a Brutalizer. Which will help um, with your damage because it gives you a good amount of damage and um, it also gives you cooldown reduction which is very important for champions like Garen because they don't use mana I probably could have killed him there but they're probably going to come back so. Alright, so Ash got able to pick up that kill. Um, Galio's probably going toward the mid lane, so the nice thing to do is you ping danger if you know somebody is going somewhere. So that your teammates don't get ganked. And, uh, no, he's still top, but, you know, better safe than sorry.
So I was just able to pick up that kill, but she's probably going to die to the minions if I don't get there in time. Yeah. And my heal, was, my heal just came up after she died, so there's nothing I could really do there. But you can see how much more damage I'm able to, able to take than Ash can. Just because I've built that Warmog's armor. We're going to pick up the kill on uh, Alistar here. One more Q. And we're going to drop our ult. Which didn't quite do it. But. Very important when you're in a fight like that that you pop a health pot. Because a little bit of damage that it negates was just enough to save me there. Like I ended that fight with just about 100 health. So and it's very important. So now we're going to go back to base to heal up. It's also very important. So now uh, we're going to buy that brutalizer I was talking about. So you get 25 attack damage and 10% cooldown reduction, which is all very helpful. And you actually get 10 arm, uh, armor penetration. What that is, is like, um, <coughs> An enemy has been Alistar, no oh, he doesn't have any, um, oh if you hit tab you can pull up this screen here, which like shows you everything that everybody has and stuff. But um, if Galio here was building armor, like cloth armor, or a vest or chain vest or something like that, then um, it would show up. So we kind of just jumped in there and took a lot of the minion aggro from Ash, keep her alive. And we have armor penetration. It um, like reduces the effect effectiveness of armor because you ignore a percentage of the target, like your target's armor. It's very helpful. And then. Quit our reduction, like if you hover over, over your abilities, it says like what the cooldown is on him. And uh, my cooldowns will go down the more cooldown reduction I get, as well as when I level up the abilities. Alright, so now I'll start really overextended. Ash is kiting him really good. And now we're legendary, which that means is we got 8 kills without dying. So. So I was able to pick that up. Go send our exist. So now we're 8 0 and 3. Um, another thing to note is when you're um, like using your judgment when you spin around, um, like after a, a second, I think you can actually cancel it. If uh, you wanted to for some reason, I guess. And um, also while you're spinning in judgment you can move through units but you um have like your movement speed reduced so all right so we're able to drop our ultimate on the alistar and pick him up pick up the kill like that just before he went into turret range so that was really good for us um Put another point into our judgment. Try to bait this Galio out a little bit. I don't really want a turret dive like this. And we got minion support, but I don't think I really do enough damage to kill him outright. But there you go, he's out. We able to kill him just like that. And Ash is able to pick up the kill on Rai, so we're still doing really good. Um, we got my heal ready in case Ash needs it, because obviously she's a huge damage asset to have in lane with me. She's gotten a lot of assists on my kills, so it's all really helpful stuff. I'm trying to push towers pretty much as fast as we can. We're really trying to kill him there, we're just trying to push him back, but it looks like Ash is going to try to pick up the kill, so. Oh, I didn't get my heal off, but. So we got a huge fight here, so I'm just gonna 
draw my W and back off. Pop a health bot, because you get a lot more regeneration like that. And then my passive just kicked back in, so I'm regenerating a lot of health. So now I got my minion wave. I'm going to move back in here, because the minion's going to be doing a lot of damage to him as well. Try to pick up the kill on this rise. And we do. And then we'll try to pick up the kill on Ezreal with our Q here. And we got it. So we got a double kill. Um... Multi kills like that, um, you have like a certain amount of time between kills to get them, and you don't like get any bonus gold or anything. It's just kind of a a pride thing, I guess, about having a multi kill. Like in our last game, Kaz was able to get a penta kill. That's because he killed everybody on the enemy team within like with a certain amount of with within a certain time limit between um, kills. So. <clears throat> Keep pushing up here, taking some turret shots. Not really doing a whole lot to us at this point, but just gotta be mindful. Um, if you build armor, you'll actually take less turret damage because turrets do do physical damage. Just a little something to note. All right, gonna try to kill one of them here. Hit the Galio, and then we'll wait for our judgment to get off cooldown, and we'll go get in. Go in for the Ezreal, pop a while you wait. And here we go. So we got the Ezreal. We able to get out. Ooh, still taking turret shots. Alright. So now we're going to go back. And then at base, um, I'll show you the other items that we get. So here, if we go back to the recommended build, it's kind of the sub recommends. Um, if you're really far ahead like this, one thing I'll tell you um, is that well, we'll talk about crit, I guess, right now. Critical strike. Um, this is increased like your uh, auto attacks Rampage. and even some of your abilities have a chance to critically strike. So if you like go to all items on the side here, you can sort. If you go to critical strike, you can pull up these items. And uh, what we bought was an, called Infinity Edge, and it gives a ton of attack damage and critical strike chance. And then the unique passive is our critical strike chance. Um, like our cri critical strikes do more damage than they normally do, which is uh, super helpful, just doing more damage. But one of the reasons why I buy um, critical strike on, on Garen is because our Q is an auto attack, so that can actually crit. And um, our E, our judgment, can crit. Like it says at the bottom there. Um, normal abilities don't really crit, so like if you tried to build a critical strike chance on Ash, then your W is not going to crit. So you'll see we got a couple crits there with our Q and our uh, couple of the damage hits on our E. Doing a good job killing them all. Um, Trinomir is able to pick up a kill on the Alistar right there. So we need to push um, these inhibitors, and then we should be able to push the last two towers and win the game. So we'll just do that. Um, another thing, you, it's not a good idea to good idea to build straight crit because you cannot crit t um, structures. It's so like no matter how many times I hit the inhibitor, I'll never like crit it. A couple more crits right there. I just got a double kill there. And we can't actually attack that tower because we had all my minions pushed up far enough, so. I gotta sit here and kill minions. I'm gonna use my heal to help everybody out. Mostly Vayne because she's really low. Got a double kill there. Um, we're just gonna push the tower and end the game. If they decide they want to go on Ezreal, I'll probably go help them. But there's not really a point at this point. So 17-0 and eight. I don't think we'll get any more 
um, kills. If you actually walk up on that altar thing right there. One more kill before the game over, so. Victory. So yeah, guys. Pretty good game right there. And uh, I'll meet you guys in the post-game screen, and we'll see if we were able to hit level 2 or not. See you guys in a sec. So here we are guys in the post game screen and we were able to hit level 2 so we got this big box. Congratulations on reaching level 2. Um, we got a new rune slot which we're not really doing anything with right now but um, it's nice to have. Um, we got another mastery point that we can put in our mastery page and we got a, we unlocked the cleanse summoner spell. So yeah right here we got 215 IP and 54 XP. So we have 88 m more XP until we get to level 3 and once we get level 3 we'll be able to do our jungling video since we'll unlock smite which is what this Kha'Zix has right here even though Kha'Zix wasn't in the game so yeah thanks for watching the video guys if you liked please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out